In this video, we're going to work with a derived element template. We're working again in velocity terminals. We need a new template because we have a tank that has an additional sensor and our level attribute does not reference the normal pi point. It's set up slightly different from the others. Tank 10 in the Sydney location has two modifications. We have an additional sensor for CO2 and our level sensor is a little bit different as far as the pi point configuration. We are going to create a new element template called special tank that has an additional sensor and a different naming pattern for the level. To do this, navigate to the library, templates, tank, and then select new and then new derived template. Rename the new element template to special tank. Navigate to attribute templates. Add a new attribute template, CO2. The default unit of measure is percent, which can be found under ratio. The value type is double. Display digits are two, and the data reference is pi point. Click on settings to enter the pi point name. We're going to use substitution parameters to define a standard naming convention based on the element and the attribute name. No pi point exists for the CO2. After entering the substitution parameter, select tag creation. Change the source unit from default percent to just percent. Check in the change, then refresh. In the navigator, switch to elements and then tank 10, which is under Sydney, and change the template from tank to special tank. Verify tank 10 now has a CO2 attribute and the value is from pi point named tank 10 CO2.pv. Now let's make the second modification required for the special tank template. On the attributes tab, add a new attribute named level. This is under the special tank template. It's going to be default unit of measure is percent, value is double, digits are two, and the data reference is pi point. In this case, we have tank 10 level.pv for the pi point setting. Click on settings, change the source unit from default percent to percent. To enter the pi point name, use substitution parameters to define naming pattern based on the element and the attribute name. We're also going to add limits to our level. So to define limits, select the level attribute and then click limits in the context menu. Set the limits in the same way we did for the normal tank. We did this previously in another exercise. So we have the values of minimum is zero, low, low is 15, low is 25, target is 50, High is 80, high high is 90, and maximum is 100. Check in your changes and refresh. In the navigator, go back to the elements and select tank 10, which again is under Sydney. 
and verify the pi point for the level attribute of 10 is tank10level.pv. Now we can show element templates based on inheritance. We can go back to the library under templates and we can select in the context menu, arrange by, and then select arrange by template inheritance. And the result, you should see special tank is connected to tank.